two big kilns just there. Guys, look at this. It's a cool fish design. It's like a big bowl or something. It's going to be sort of some sort of serving dish. That is really, really cool. What is going on guys, welcome back to my channel and welcome to this video. In today's video we're going to be visiting the Falcon Works Pottery Factory. Closed down in the 1970s I believe. This used to be a fully working, fully functional pottery factory with firing kilns. It's since abandoned, it was once owned by Port Marion which is another well known company and is still going to this day. So I'm going to be exploring this place today with ADTV Exploring and Paranormal. Go check his channel out, there will be a link down below. I did try and go here about 18 months ago with Sylvia and we failed, it was a really wet day and we had our best clothes on I will be honest, we'd just been out, we'd been get some dinner or something, maybe shopping. She didn't really fancy the walk down the hill because it's a massive drop and it is quite dangerous. But I'm going here today with ADTV and we're going to get straight into this one guys. But just before I go, I want to talk to you guys about an app called TubeBuddy. A lot of you may be familiar with TubeBuddy, but if you are starting a YouTube channel or you've already got a YouTube channel and you want to progress, you want to move up a notch, check out TubeBuddy. It is a free app. You can get it through my link and there will be a link down in the description. You'll get help with tags, you'll get help with titles. There's also a browser extension for anybody that's using I think Firefox or Explorer. I'm not sure if it works on Safari unfortunately which is what I use so I can't use it. But go check that out guys, there's a link down below and without taking any longer let's do this. So I'm at the very very far end of this place and we came across this safe. Unfortunately the badges have gone off it now so you can't see what make it is. But if you look here, it's completely sealed shut. There's no way of getting the thing open. It's completely completely shut up tight. And there's another actual safe here with a lock. But you can't get in it. Guys, there literally could be something in there of value. Who knows? I'm completely on my own right now because um Craig, he's, he's gone back down the far end of the building. I think he's taking some, some videos down there. So I'm, I'm completely at this end on my own, guys. And you can see none of this has been touched for God knows how long. I will do my uh, history. I see when we came out today, we actually planned on going somewhere else, but that place didn't work out. So we've come here instead. It's somewhere that, you know, it's on the doorstep. It's not hard to get to. So we've come and give it a go. Just basically on, it, on, it, on a whim, as you call it. Got a newspaper here, 1990, 1999 in fact, January 18th, I was nine years old at that time. Back in those days guys, when you were feeling a little bit lonely on a Saturday night or on Valentine's Day, you can call these numbers up and you'll pay about £10 a minute to speak to these women. Back through the uh, far end of the building, there is moulds all over the floor from different ornaments and, and plates and things like that. Some really, really cool items which I'm going to get to in a moment. This over here is the thing I had to climb up and to check out upstairs. I'm going to show you a picture right now of how the upstairs looks. As you can see, there's not really much going on up there. It's not really worth us going up. Maybe a couple of photos is all it really takes. There's a lot of destruction in this place. You can see there's been a fire at some point. The floor's in pretty nice condition though. I mean, there's holes, you know, some holes now and then. There's one over there and there's one there under that wood. But it's in pretty good condition, I must say. This is a trolley. Just want to climb over here. Gotta be really careful because I don't know what the floor's like under me. Yeah, I can feel it moving. I think there's a hole here, in fact. Yeah, I'm gonna maybe go this way. I don't want to put too much weight down and then go go straight down on the floor. I just want to get to that that little bowl there. I'm going to show you guys that. I want to see what it is because, of course, I haven't been here yet. I'm now standing on this door, so I'm okay. Ah, it's another Port Marion. So 
So we found one earlier, a cup in fact, that was from Port Mary. And this is another thing from Port Mary. I actually remember seeing that sign when I was a kid. Wow, someone's clocking cord. Hopefully no spiders, I'll check. Nah. That's somebody's clock cord. Wonder if I can see the name on that. It says M. Barlow. Anybody know M. Barlow, who worked at the Falcon Works? He, uh, he was in work every day that week. Old school heaters. Wow, I thought that was polystyrene. That's so heavy. Eight pint jug. Some proper cool bits of machinery in here, guys. See where the floor's all collapsed. It's exposed all this side. So much glass on the floor, it's hard not to tread on it. So bear with me guys when I'm walking over that. Looks like the main door to the factory there, look at this window. It's a really old window and the inside part. Take a step back so you can see a good clear picture of it. Guys look at this, it's a cool fish design. It's like a big bowl or something, it's going to be sort of some sort of serving dish. That is really, really cool. Just look at the detail in it. You can actually feel everything on there. And this is probably my favourite thing I found in here, which I found earlier. It's like some Spanish guy. If I'm wrong, maybe I'm wrong. Is it Spanish? It certainly looks like it. We don't need to see toilets. Anyone want to see the toilets? I'm not really bothered about looking at toilets. I think I should be wearing a mask in here if I'm honest because I was kind of saying that it's a good place for homeless people to live if they've got nowhere else to be but to be honest it's probably full of asbestos. Check this out guys. An old cast of a jug. There we have what I believe. I'm going to throw a guess out there and say that's for a soap dish. To put your soap in in the bathroom. Well look guys, they're everywhere. There's hundreds of them. Hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of them. Got them in all shapes. Spoons. And... Oh, there's another, another figure there. Is that a figure? It looks like it's a figure. So many of them guys. It take you hours to go through all this. I think I found the other half to that Spanish geezer. Yeah, it definitely is. I think that's the back end to the guy. If I was to take this and the other half and I put some stuff in there to, to mold and harden, then I could potentially make my own figure. Pretty cool, yeah. I'm kind of glad that no one's been in and trashed it all though, because obviously this can be thrown around and smashed to pieces, which would be a real big shame, but Luckily it's not happened. Such a cool place guys. Could be, yeah. Perfect place really, isn't it? Yeah.
people I can really show you. This is the main part. I liked this part. It's good seeing all the old casts for all the old figures and plates and things. I'm gonna go outside now, guys, and danger, keep out. So yeah, I'm gonna go outside now, guys, and there's two big kilns, which I'm gonna show you. And the door is open, sort of, and we're gonna go look inside there, and uh, I'll see you when I'm out there. So we're outside again guys, um, you can see behind me, probably, maybe, there is a, uh, two big kilns just there. So these are the only existing kilns from this Falcon Works. I'm sure these before, you know, maybe there was two more down there, but I'm sure that two have gone. I'm sure I read that two arts have been taken down. Maybe I was wrong, I don't know. We used to use them back in college. So I did um, ceramics in college as well, and we used the uh, kilns, only small ones though, not like these to dry off whatever we made. Um, let's go inside. Seen these like metal sort of struts going all around it. They have been all together there. Yeah, mad into that. Because yeah. of the heat expanding. Because yeah. it expands, doesn't it? Yeah. You know, I'm 30 years old living in the potteries, guys, but this is the first time I've actually been this close to a, a bottle kiln. You can go and visit things like this in the museums, but this here is untouched since the day this place closed down, which is pretty cool. When this thing gets fired up, I'm sure it gets really goddamn hot. So, just trying to find Ah, here we go. So, yeah, this thing here gets tightened both ways, pulls it tighter and tighter and tighter. I'm gonna go in, guys. I don't know why I'm uh, delaying it any longer. Oh my god, I'm getting stiff. Wow. bricks are scorched yellow. Imagine turning one of these into a sauna. Wow, I've got it up there. So I'm gonna end this video here guys. This has been Falcon Works. Hope you enjoyed this one. If you did, drop a like down below. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, then please do so. Links down below in the description for all of my social medias. I'll post a link to his channel as well. Go check him out. Hope you enjoyed this one, guys, and I'll see you in the next one.